Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Phoenix 198720 here to bring you my first impression of Immortal Phoenix Riding. This time with audio. Sorry about that last video. Uh, that's totally on me. My microphone malfunctioned and I had to go get a new one. So if you like my videos, hit that like button. I do really appreciate it. Share this with all your friends and family. Hit that subscribe button. And turn on the notification so you can get my latest video. And drop down a comment below. I read everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. And the trolls. Trust me, I have fun with the trolls. And the trolls have fun with me. And it's all good sports. So, on more, this is my first impression of Immortal Phoenix Rising. Immortal Phoenix Rising, like, uh, reminds me, I don't know when the trailer said if, uh, Legend of Zelda and Assassin's Creed, uh, came together, this would be the, the daughter or son from their, uh, as a newborn. And, do I say Legend of Zelda? Um, yes, but no. It has more of, uh, carbon copy of one Legend of Zelda game, and that's Breath of the Wild. Um, and I really haven't played many Assassin's Creed games besides the first one on the PS3. So, the only thing I can compare it to is the eagle eye when you go up on those towers and you can unclear your map. That's the only thing I can say about Assassin's Creed. Um, like I said, the artwork, the style is very, very similar to, um... Breath of the Wild. I find that the narrator in this game has a good co comic twist so far. P Haiti or Zeus, Permistias, uh, Hermes, they're all they're all written with well well char uh, comedian characters. Um, another comparison from Breath of the Wild to this game is in Breath of the Wild you have uh, Paraglider in this game, you have a set of wings. You have similarities. Your heart, uh, your health, health here compared to hearts are pretty damn close. You have the stamina bar, so when you're running and climbing, it does take toll on your stamina bar, and you have to sit for walk for a minute to help help that re uh, fill the gates fill back up. Uh, another comparison about Breath of the Wild in this one, and I really don't want to make this about Breath of the Wild is your enemies are far in between um, and you can uh, go in this uh, this game as you please on any direction you want to go um, Breath of the Wild you have shines to complete this one you have dens to complete um, pretty much and then you got one big bad guy that you're gonna be facing off just like you would in Breath of the Wild Ganon So, like I said, the art style is very similar. So, if you're a Breath of the Wild fan and you're hesitant on this game, this is like a carbon copy of Breath of the Wild. And there's no pussyfooting around that at all. Um, your bad guys, pretty much the same. Except for their animals in this game. Just crazy animals. That attack you, like, like the roosters, the bears, the giants. The music is very subtle, but it changes nicely, and I do like that. Graphically, like I said, it's a same graphic style. So whoever um, made this game and stuff were heavily inspired by Breath of the Wild, and they are probably trying to see. If this game would do as well as Breath of the Wild, since it is a multi-platform game, and Breath of the Wild was an exclusive game for the Nintendo Switch, and right now I'm showing you the Nintendo Switch version of this game, so you guys can see that are hesitant on the Nintendo Switch that you can get this, and the graphics, like I said, look good. Crazy ass warthogs.
you don't have a shield, but you can uh, dodge really get well in this game. And every time you kill a bad guy, they go up in space. And I'm going to switch over to my um, inventory here. Like, you can upgrade these in uh, the Hall of the Gods. And the same as your ability, you can upgrade them in the Hall of the Gods. And I'll, I'll show you the map here. I'll zoom out so you guys can see it. Like, Breath of the Wild, this map is pretty much the exact same that I feel. But as you clear areas, you open up. So like Breath of the Wild, you go up those giant tower towers and you would see the whole area. Same thing here, except for they're not giant towers, the giant statues. And as you clear, and like I said, I'm only about 10 hours into the game, 12, 10, 12 hours, something like that. But Hyrule, this area, that area, this area, they're all the same. They may have changed the map a little, but it's close to Legend of Zelda style map. Like, to me, it kind of reminds me of Ocarina Time map, but the Breath of the Wild style where you have to clear every area here. So, it's up to you guys. Uh, same rating as Breath of the Wild, so you, for younger kids, you may have to help them with certain reading, certain um, dens you have to go to, but it's a fun game so far and I'm loving it. Um, and I would recommend this in, uh, in a heartbeat. Now later down the road, I will be doing a video on uh, my review of this game. Then that's gonna happen once I complete this game so I can give you an honest review of the game. Because right now, I, what I see is excellent. So, on further move, um, hit that like button. Share this, share this with your friends and family. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I do really appreciate it if you guys uh, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification so you can get my latest videos. And um, drop down a comment below. I read everything. The good, the bad, the ugly, the trolls. And I like to have fun with the trolls as much as the uh, trolls like to have fun with me. It's all good sports in my in my head. Um, so, um, furthermore, this is Phoenix 198720 um, signing out for the night on uh, Immortal Phoenix Rising. So, you guys have a good morning, good evening, and a good afternoon. Peace.